Welcome to Blue Water Fishing Tips, a presentation we hope will improve your offshore fishing adventures. Your host, James Marsh, has spent considerable time during the past several years fishing the blue waters of the world. His experience both as an angler and observer of the numerous other highly renowned fishermen has proven that there is an amazing amount of similarity in the way professionals approach the sport of big game fishing. Most successful fishermen have little doubt about many things novice anglers, captains, and mates consider highly controversial subject matter. Surely people who have participated in catching hundreds of blue marlin should have a much better knowledge of the sport than those who have caught, or even seen caught for that matter, only a few such exotic species. Of course, not all experienced fishermen agree on everything or practice the same methods of fishing. Blue water fishing tips is a culmination of the things James has observed to be common among the majority of such professionals, particularly the things the average offshore sport fishermen are uncertain of. So throughout this presentation, please keep in mind that the information, tips, and advice are not merely James' views, but are based on information he has gathered from the practices of his colleagues who he considers professionals. Hi, I'm James Marsh. Welcome to Blue Water Fishing Tips, a presentation I hope will help you catch more fish. Throughout this presentation, please keep one thing in mind. There is no absolute right or wrong way to catch a fish. Certain ways improve your odds over other ways. Certain ways decrease your odds. So if your friend caught a blue marlin on a dead shrimp, don't consider that necessarily an effective way to catch a marlin. In order that we cover the subject of blue water fishing in its entirety, let's begin right at the end of the line with a hook. Certainly hooks should be sharp, and we all know that we can over sharpen the point to the extent that it becomes easily blunted, particularly on the hard mouth of a billfish. But did you ever stop and think that in sharpening the hook, particularly with a bastard file, that you might overdo this job to the point that you create a knife blade on the back side of the hook? Yes. That way when it goes in the mouth of the fish, it actually just cuts its way right out of the mouth. You may have had to use the expression, the fish pull the hook, simply because of this. The most frequent error I see made when it comes to hook selection is simply using too large of a hook. 